Does your plant look like this? Or your fruits like that? Or your flowers turning yellow? Most people think this is a disease when actually it is just lack of water or calcium deficiency. So you first need to check your soil and make sure it is moist. Keep it watered regularly so that your plant grows well. Then if it's not water, you need to check the calcium. Welcome to Sibayeni Metro Farming, where we make farming easy. Today we are going to teach you how to use eggshells to create a calcium rich fertilizer. So after you've used your eggs, most people they often throw away these shells. And from today, never throw it away. What we're going to do is to crush the eggshells with a hand, it's very much easy. And then you wash it, you put it in a tray and put it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees. This eggshells has 40% carbonate, 0.4% nitrogen, and 0.38% magnesium. It is very much useful for your plants. So after you have done putting it in the oven or you put it in the microwave for about two minutes, then you can use a roller to crush it further so that it is much easier for the earthworms to consume it or to digest it. So you need to roll it until it is small, in, in small pieces like that. Then you will use a spoon to pour it around your plants. This is a very good support for your plants. Looking at it. And then if you are using doing hydroponics farming like I do, then you need to go a step further. You can either use... A coffee grinder like this one you fill in I'm struggling to open it you fill in the one that you crushed with your hand into your coffee grinder and then you grind it so that it is a bit finer and it's much easier to use in a hydroponic system there's also a much easier way of doing it where you can use what we call the new technology. So here you take your crushed eggshells and you pour it in your grinder, electric grinder, and then you grind it further. You can see when I put it here, it can actually grind it to powder. When it is powdered like that, then you are able to use it to neutralize your plants or to neutralize your, your nutrients. You need to scoop a spoon of the powder, put it in a cup, and then use some bit of vinegar. Measurements are always good. Five mils of vinegar. Is good enough a normal white vinegar will always work and then you leave it for about five minutes two to five minutes you can see already that it is already starting to form because of the vinegar that we we put in there it will start to react Leave it for about 30 minutes and then you are able to take it when it is ready. You will be able to scoop it, add it into the water. This is some bit of science, of course. So you need to make sure that it has fully reacted until the last piece of your powder. And then you scoop a spoon, you put it in water. I've got a two liter bottle of water here which is enough to water your plants and make sure that you do this 
at least once a month to keep your plants fresh and healthy. This is works well when you have done it at least before your plants start flowering and your fruits and your vegetables, your flowers and everything you're doing will look awesome. If you like our video, please follow us, Sibayeni Metro Farming, subscribe. Thank you.